Hello? Joe, it's me, Stuart. Hey, Stu, what's happening? Today I was at the uh, cable station. I spoke to the cable guy and he, uh, he wants to hear a little more about my idea. Uh, so how can I assist you with this? You know that Conan impersonator from the convention? Bruce. Do you think he'd be up to doing an interview with a local politician, maybe? Something interesting. Yeah, Bruce is a team player. He'll probably help you out. Can you send me some more details? I'll be getting to it tonight. Who was on the phone? Oh, that was uh, Stuart Brody and that Howard Stern guy. He's talking about a TV show. Will you be traveling for this? I'm not sure. He's still talking about it. It's in the uh, process of uh, development. Mr. Harris. Hey, Stuart. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. What's up? Hey, listen. Uh, I'm talking to a cable station about doing a new cable show. Yeah. Impersonator oriented. Would you like to be part of it? Oh yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm sort of busy right now. Uh, I'll get off work at six. Let me give you my card. Okay. Give me a call. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry to get back to work. All right. Thanks, thanks Stuart. Man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Man. How you doing? Doing great. You have this month's rent? Yep. And I was wondering. What's that? Have you done any local cable TV ads? Mm, no, never. If I could get one done cheaply enough, would you let me shoot it here in the restaurant? I don't think so. Uh... It'll be for this brand new cable TV show that I'm working on. You do that impersonation thing, don't you? Yes. Could I see the script before I come in? Sure. Okay. You know where to find me. Thanks. The comedy lines are pretty good. What else have you gotten so far? I've gotten videotapes from other celebrity impersonators who will willing to work with me on this. Like what? Uh, comedians, musicians, four Madonnas, even a Lincoln. A Lincoln? Yeah, you know. Have him reading the Gettysburg Address over the closing credits. The history bus will love it. You get a lot of good ideas. Can you get a lot of good money? I'm glad you asked that. Hi. Welcome to Rusty's Restaurant. We have the best food, the best prices, we've got steaks, chops, salads, and deals for the kids. So come on down to Rusty's Restaurant. Where you can eat, eat like, like a, a king. king. <laughs> 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 Woo! Where do you see this going? I like to do this every week. Do you think you have enough material for every week? I have a whole backlog of material and people who are willing to work with me on this. And advertisers? I figure, once people see who's involved with it, they'll be banging on our doors, ready to get in on the bandwagon. Well, we will discuss this and get back to you. I don't like it. Uh, what's not to like? I mean, he's got an idea, he's got the look, I mean, he's got some humor, uh, he's gonna get ads, what's not to like? Do you know why certain things aren't shown on television? What do you mean? Do you really think people are gonna tune in every week to see people, like, dress up? It's not dress up, it's humor, it's music, it's like, it's like those old variety shows our parents used to watch. What? You know, like, Dean Martin, Carol Burnett, Red Skelton, variety shows? Celebrity roasts. I mean, everybody used to love them. I never used to watch those shows. Come on, you've never seen Laugh-In. Laugh what? Look, I really want to give this guy a shot, okay? He already has advertisers calling in. I want to try something new for a change. We've known each other a long time. So you should know that I'm good with a hunch. <sighs> All right. All right. 
we can give this guy a shot, but if we get any negative feedback, I'm gonna pull it immediately. I don't wanna live with embarrassment for more than a week. Trust me, we are not going to be embarrassed. You can call him. You can call Howie and tell him he can have his show. Thank you. Oh, just take a chip and go. Hello? It's me from the studio. My partner and I had a little discussion and we've decided that we're going to give your idea a try. My question is, can you start off by giving us enough material for at least two or three shows? That's what I'm working on right now. Oh, good, good. I'll get back to you during the week. We'll meet with the production staff and uh, we'll set things up. Great. I'll speak to you then. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Stu, you got a delivery. Next up, you're going to be interviewed about your appearance at the center, and uh, after that, Howard is going to do his comedy routine. Stuart, what's wrong? It's Marie, the Reba McIntyre impersonator. Yeah, I've seen her. She's good. Her phone's disconnected. She's supposed to come down today? Well, she was supposed to bring a tape of one of her shows for us to use as a closing sequence for the show. So we're not going to have a closing number for the show? Well, I have tapes of some of the other impersonators, but... I wanted to use Marie's to make it really kind of special. So what are you going to do? Thank you ever so. I think you're just happy. See, no one deserves that. 